My name is Aaron Albrecht. I work at Venify and I look after products and product strategy for the company. DevOps and, and more broadly the concept that, that DevOps embodies is, is fast IT. It enables uh, a company to develop software much faster and respond to customer market needs much faster. DevOps as a, as a pattern uh, is incredibly an incredibly helpful enabler for digital transformation. But if you step back and you think about that from a security perspective and a, and a machine identity protection perspective, you quickly realize that that very same pattern that allows you to get capabilities to customers and end users faster also makes it much, much more susceptible and vulnerable to doing things which are imprudent, unwise, and create security risks for the enterprise. If you don't have properly configured certificates, either in key strength or length, or you don't have uh, machine identities that are hardened and resistant to uh, attacks, um, you will perpetuate that throughout the life cycle of, of those devices. If you could create a managed program and a healthy partnership between the InfoSec org and between the development org, it would be to say, look, let us, InfoSec, give you a service, Venify, to allow you to get secure, compliant, hardened machine identities that very easily slipstreams into that development process such that you get what you uh, need as fast as you need it, but also ensuring that while you simultaneously deliver those capabilities to the enterprise, that you also do it in a secure and compliant way and you don't expose uh, your company to risks in the process. It would behoove a, a lot of folks, and, and InfoSec in particular, to work in partnership to come up with a more programmatic approach to um, moving quickly to deliver value for, for the enterprise and the end customer while doing so securely. We at Venify, um, have gone to great lengths to identify and, and work with uh, key thought leaders in the DevOps ecosystem to make it very easy to integrate with those tools so that they can do very well what they do while giving them an API that they can integrate with to get uh, secure, protected, and, and managed uh, machine identities. But integration in, into the tool chain is, is one barrier. I think even more fundamentally, knowledge is another barrier. Um, there are some developers who, who know crypto and who know machine identities more broadly, but I think quite frankly, um, most developers uh, tend to be really good at slinging code. Uh, and, and embracing new technologies, open source technologies, to be able to do what they've always done faster. Um, and I think that doesn't always lend itself to a, a full knowledge about um, machine identities, crypto, and the risk that goes with it, which is why more often than not, we see those as two separate organizations. You may be aware that you have tools that you can use to get machine identities. You may be aware that those uh, machine identities need to be secure and compliant, but quite frankly, if you're a developer and you want to move fast and that's what you're incented on, I think the third thing I would point to is a less than full appreciation of the potential consequence and, and risk to the enterprise.